is great news here this morning. A well-loved wildlife refuge here in southwest Florida is welcoming back visitors. Jan Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge will open for the first time since Hurricane Ian. Fox 4's Alexandra Ronhell is there live in Sanibel where they are celebrating some big milestones today. Yeah, good morning. They're celebrating 120 years as serving as, you know, a migratory place for birds. Um, right now, I'm on top of the bird tower where there's like a 360 view. Take a look around this. Me and Sean just got to drive up here. This um, wildlife drive is open every day except Fridays. You can see the beautiful, beautiful sunrise. We've been speaking to some residents who are just so excited to be back here. I mean, this is some of the for some of them, this is in their backyard and they haven't been able to visit this place until today. The, the doors have officially opened right here at Ding and it's a big milestone as a lot of the habitat was ravaged by the storm. You can see some of the trees are still a little brown, but we're getting some green as you know, a lot of this, you know, is coming back. Now the refuge is one of the largest undeveloped mangrove ecosystems in the entire U.S. It was established in 1945 to protect the wildlife and habitat of Sanibel Island like in injured and threatened species. Now, migratory birds are able to feed and nest here. Ding has also served as an escape for people looking to enjoy Southwest Florida's nature and also serves as an education center for Sanibel's wildlife. Some trails and facilities will remain closed as workers continue cleanup efforts. But this morning, the visitor and education center will be one of the buildings reopening along with the observation tower, Tarpon Bay Explorers, which offers kayak tours and some of the trails will also be reopening. Now, I got to speak to Kevin Godspeed this morning. He's a wildlife refugee manager and he talked to us a little bit about what it took to get to this day. Had, had considerable amount of washout damage. Uh, I think we brought in about 30 truckloads of fill dirt and had to, uh, had, had to shore up the wildlife drive. Um, uh, the visitor center had you know, quite a bit of roof damage and things like that. And we had about six and a half feet or six feet of water here underneath our, in our admin building. So we lost about uh, 3,000 square foot of office space wow. as well. So Again, such a beautiful morning and sunrise from the bird tower here at Ding Wildlife Refuge. Now, a little later this morning, we'll be heading down to the ribbon cutting ceremony. That's at 930. But in the next hour, we will take you a little bit more through the refuge. There's some people fishing out here and we'll hopefully get to talk to them and have that for you. For now, reporting live from Sanibel Island, Alexandra Angel, Fox 4.